Hello everybody, my name is Majorati and welcome to Kerbal's Space Program. <clears throat> a very uh, well-known game in the past, it's in early access on Steam. If you want to play it for yourself, it is about 20 bucks, I believe. It, it's in early access, it's still being developed as uh, we play it. If you don't know what early access means, I do. But <laughs> Let's get started. So I actually played this quite a bit in the past, so I'm just going to resume from where I left off. Which was quite a bit ago. I don't know, I was just time travel. Time travel! Let's begin this! Now I was, uh. Now, <laughs> I'm actually multitasking at about the same time. I'm actually fixing my second channel, but I'm also recording this one, so I'm not gonna get distracted. I'm gonna leave my second one low, and that's over there. Ding, 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 ding. Go check it out, Majorati TV. Anyway, so this is Majorati. We're video game people. Just kidding. Let's begin. So, I'm not a fan of creating the jets because I've had a horrible history. I mean, I'll show you my dump truck if I have to. My dump truck is bad. You know what? Yeah, let me, let, me, let me just show you my dump truck. Let me show you just how freaking bad I am at making jets. Jets are hard, people. Don't give me shit. It's not easy. Alright, so, uh, let me load up my Junktron. <laughs> oh, no. Um, scrotum, scrotum 2, where is it? Trashmobile! <laughs> Just what I love naming my shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Let me launch and show you just how garbage this is. It's like hobo work. <laughs> Here we go! So as you can see, I have the trash mobile here. It's fine in its type of, uh, realistically, we'll, uh, we'll drive it like a car. Mm. Yeah, it's quite simple proportionally. We're going to turn on our RCS and SAS because shit goes crazy. Ha-boom! Now, I've said this a million times already. This is the trash mobile. Don't turn over there! Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, shit. Wait, why are those still there? Ah, oh, fuck. Didn't add a detach. Aw, oh, damn it. I thought I lived. Damn it. Alright, um. Uh. S launch. We'll sh I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get this. Just give me a sec. Hurt to launch. Please don't be dick. Um. SAS, RCS. Here. Boom! Alright. Oh no. Stay still! No! Stop turning that way! Okay, hold on. Oh shit. Oh shit. 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 Control it! Control it! Oh no! Wait, am I close to the ground here? Oh no! Oh, yeah! Oh, explosions! I'm not gonna record very long, like I said. I actually have the timer on the webcam up there. Because, I, if I, like I said, if I go over a very long distance, it's very hard to uh, get the video from this to that. Because there's some shit. Alright, let's, uh, I'm never gonna use that again. We're gonna revert to the hangar. Not the hangar. We're gonna go to the rocket place building. And uh, I was able to make it to the moon, not in the rather cleanest way, but I made it to the moon and it's all that matters. Okay, so I have a couple ships that you guys might wanna see, take advice from and figure, tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. But this is what I like to call the Jumbotron. It's scripted with many, it's actually used this stock. Oh shit, on this rocket. It's got a stabilization issue, and the parachute does not work. But what I'm going to do is take off the parachute, and you'll almost find it. Let's do it. The parachute doesn't help. It always flies back, and I never used it. Start up second channel again at the video doing stuff. Where is us? Okay. 
I just uploaded my second video on my second channel. <laughs> Best thing ever. Let's do this shit! Now I can't see outside of this because the game is still in development and they have yet to uh, get rid of this giant circle thing here. This thing here. Uh, this. So we'll get to that in a sec, but I'm gonna do everything from here. Rudersky! And. RCS, SAS, HUB! <laughs> Why the hell did I do that? Ah, oh, damn it. Wee! I'm just a rocket now! Okay, we're gonna fix this. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna fix this. We're gonna, I'm gonna see how far I can go, how high I can go. Revert to launch! Let's do this! It's time to shoot into space and possibly get some kind of motive out of it. Three, two, boosh, boosh. I have it full power, RCS, SAS, on. I can't see, the only thing I can see is a Kerbal up there. I believe there's three Kerbals on this ship. Yeah. We have Bob Kerman. I know you guys can't see the name, but there's a taskbar down there that kind of gets really annoying to look at. Uh, Bob Kerman, Bill Kerman, and Harley Kerman. This will be the brave people who die in my atrocities. <laughs> now, if you haven't played Carable Space Program, you probably don't know what it is, but as you can tell, it is all it is is shooting rockets into the sky and making your way to distant planets and the moon. Biggest the moon. You know, why do this? I have a wide belief that there is a possible way to get on the sun. I have not tried it, because I've never been successful enough to even get my ass off this earth without exploding. Shut up, Virtual Omega! Let me see so we're approaching the 72,000 meter mark. A uh, rather great thing to see. There's the moon. What I've been trying to get to is to the moon, but I haven't had no success so far. Now in order to save oil, I destroy my engines, I turn them off, and this little thermometer, so I'm still going at about 300 miles an hour, but I am going to slow down very rapidly because I am in the earth. But I am still going up, no matter what. And when it gets to about 150, I like to shoot them back on. That way I can still keep going up without the slowdown. So we're still going up, we're still going 200 a second. We're hitting the 900 mark, and now it's time to, or the 150 mark, so we're gonna shoot up our gas tanks again. And now we are at the 18,000 mark. I think it's about the uh, 20? I want to say like the 30, uh, when you hit orbit, or not really orbit, where you basically are in space to the point where you don't have to keep using up your fuel to even get up. So as soon as this change from surface to orbit, I'll be able to move on my day and just live. I'm going to shut the engines down because I am at 700, which is really freaking quick. So I'll be going up the numbers pretty quickly and rapidly, so that's always a good thing to hear. Um, oh, 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 I see stars. We still haven't hit orbit yet, but I do see the stars. Stars usually are a good sign that... Yeah, okay, there we go. Stars are always a good sign that you've already hit orbit or you're in space now and you no longer have to worry about fuel consumption. Now, of course, I'm going to leave my engines off because now I'm able to go into orbit mode and take a look at where I'm at. I want this. This is my orbit. So if I were to fast forward through time, I would just go up, around, and then stop right there. So that's not what I want to go for. I want to go out farther. Way farther. I want to go. Because I was in orbit with the moon, and I did do a loop around thingy, but I was like, boop, 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 and I went around the Earth too fast, and I got shot 800,000 light years that way. I don't know what that way is, but let's get to continue. So now, we are going to follow this circle here, this yellow 
thing. Oh, shit. Camera free. No. Um, oh, shit. it. Oh, Bill Kerman, somebody save that goddamn ship. Um, now we're going to throw our SAS and RCS back on in an uh, effort to basically... Yeah, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut our engine out. We are going to about 500. Not quick enough, but good enough. Screw it. Um... So our orbit will be improved. I want to make it go out farther. So every time I get to this AP, which if you don't know space physics, I don't even know it, but I know that a a uh, apoesis, if that's even the real name, I don't even know. And then there's another one at the other end of this. I don't know what it's called, but uh, somewhere over there. Now we're making our way here. We're approaching the 11 minute mark. Now it's time to shoot this baby seven million miles this way. Now I'm going to kill my engines off these ones, and I'm going to go ahead and launch out the new ones after about a little bit more time. That way I'm able to uh, let these rockets go away, because if I start up right away, I will hit the rockets. I'll explode, and I'll get very upset. Uh, there we go. So there's the moon right there, and we want to get to there, to Zed Moon. Now it's time to eradicate these things, these amazing gas pipes. So as you can see, they're now splitting apart, and that's exactly what we are going for. Now, we'll power up a boost. Now we're a bit smaller, so our fuel consumption is way, way easier. Now that we're a little farther away from the planet, we're able to just keep a, a very stable orbit. My uh, speed doesn't drop very quick. In fact, it's going um, 1,000 and basically 1,900 kilometer meters a second. So in a kilometer, very, very freaking close. So let's check out our orbit. Good, good, our orbit has widened. Now we are gonna fast forward in the event to get to the AP because we have to get to AP Ouch. to boost. Now that we're at the AP, we're going to go straight up and go that way. That way. The said thing. Alright, here we go. Now we're, uh, we're going to turn it because we have this now. We now have a more stable thing. This pod has got a really cool stabilization thing to it. Now I don't want to go towards that because that's going to tell me to go down and or not down. That's going to make my orbit go farther out. I want it to be a little white or a little taller, wider, whatever. Before I do anything else. So is that thing go crazy? And I want this to be very low um, fuel consumption because. Boy, don't you love it when oil runs out. All right, so the orbit's closer, so let's uh, go ahead and time warp over here to the AP. Stop here. And let's go straight out again. We want to widen the orbit. And by the looks of it, I am not going to be able to do this. Son of a bitch. Okay, um. Yeah, this is as far as I was ever going to go. I don't have a rocket that works the correct way, so... In order, in, in order to show you guys how fun it is to explode on the Earth, we're going to go land in what looks like Kerbal Asia. Kerbal Asia. Let's do this! Kerbal Asia, I'm coming for you! Whee! Oh no, good idea for the parachute. Too bad it's gone now. I see a lick. Whee! I know, I want to... Eh. Gerbils! No! Alright, we're dead. Well, we're approaching 15 minutes, so that's about a good time to stop. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. This was Kerbal's Space Program. It's on Steam. It's in early access, and it's about 20 bucks or 15. I don't know. I bought it a long time ago. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day. Yay!